Assalamu alaikum. Let me tell you why people don't help other people today. I have a friend that he had a job. We were all hungry. When he had a job, we were all excited for him. So he said that he needed a suit. I sell suits. So he contacted me. And then he said that he needed a suit on credit. And I took him to my shop. I gave him one suit and he saw other suits. He requested I add him two more. So it became three suits. He promised to pay within a few days or a few weeks' time. He even got one of my brothers to follow him to make part payments. When my brothers followed him, he gave a format. He lied to him, so he didn't give him anything. My brother came. A few days' time, a few weeks' time, I contacted my friend. He has still not paid. As of now, I'm talking to you. It is over one and a half year now. My friend has still not paid even a penny out of the money. This, my friend, Whenever I ask him for the money, so he is financially handicapped, he doesn't have money. But this, my friend, he sews new clothes every time. And every clothes that he will sew, it is worth the price of a suit. Every program he has to attend, he sews new clothes. Every, like, he sews new clothes, like new outfits, every time. But when it reaches for him to pay me, he tells me that he doesn't have money. So you see, I have helped my friend. But what I have actually done was that I have helped him to destroy me. Because it's not just about paying the money. It is one and a half year. If he's going to pay me my money right now, the value of the money has reduced. If he's paying the money right now, it can't even afford the cost of the suit that I'm going to buy right now. If he paid me the money right now and I'm going to buy new stock, it can't even afford a new stock. That's number one. Number two, if he's paying me the money, the profit I was supposed to make on the sale of each suit, he has denied me. That's number two. Number three, assuming he had paid me my money, I could have used the money to invest in other things to make extra money. He has denied me from that too. So you see, I have actually helped my friend to destroy me. And that is why I'm telling you that the reason I'm telling you this is for you as a corporate person, as a business person, you need to be open-minded whenever it comes to loaning or selling things on credit. I'm not saying you shouldn't lend your friends or your brothers or your neighbors money. But what I'm saying is that if you want to help them, make sure that they have a good track record of paying back debts. And for this, my friend, I didn't make any inquiries as to whether he is someone who pays debt or not. That's, not, that's one of my mistakes. So don't make this mistake when you are in business. That's number one. Number two is that when you loan people money and they don't want to pay you and you struggle, you keep struggling with it to the time they pay you. You being a helper, at the end of the business, you become his enemy. He feels like you are his enemy. Why? Because he's owing you small money. That's how they see it now. He's owing you small money and you, you were embarrassing him, you were disgracing him. This is someone you wanted to help because you were happy for him. But in the end, or at the end of the day, he has become your enemy. So for some people, instead of helping someone and at the end of the day, he will become an enemy to that person. They don't help them. That's number two. Number three is that, you see, some things are just small. The money may be for the, the money for three suits may, may not be anything. But if you have this kind of friend that, and that person has behaved like this, in future, if you have an opportunity and you are asked to recommend people, will you recommend such a person? No, because when he goes, he might disgrace you or he might not fulfill his part of responsibility. And this small thing that he has done has dented his future opportunity. So if you're an individual, when you borrow things or money from people, make sure you pay. Because it is not just about the money you are paying. It is about the future that awaits you and that person. Number four, if you were me and your friend behaved like this, what would you do to him? Kindly leave your comments in the comment box, then I learn from you. Thank you very much. Kindly go to YouTube and subscribe to The Village Muslim. Don't forget to click the bell button.